During metamorphosis, most of a fruit fly's body cells completely dissolve. So how does everything come back together? A new study looked at fruit fly brains as they're going through metamorphosis, specifically the mushroom body of the brain, which helps in the fly's learning and memory. They used genetically engineered fruit fly larvae and a process using fluorescence in the neurons to see how they change during metamorphosis. What they saw is that all of the ties between the neurons in the larva's mushroom body and the input and output neurons completely dissolved. So it was really just the most core neurons floating around in there for a bit. Some of the input and output neurons left the mushroom body to go to other parts of the brain, getting new jobs for an adult life, while many of the other neurons stayed behind and either simply died or got rearranged. Researchers also saw a bunch of neurons that were initially totally dormant in larva developed during metamorphosis to be used in the adult brain. What does this mean for the fruit fly's memories? Researchers aren't entirely sure, but the anatomical changes don't set the fruit flies up for holding on to memories. That discovery can't be applied to more complex insects like beetles or butterflies though, which have more neurons overall when they hatch. And in fact, there have been studies suggesting that moths do remember things learned as caterpillars.